Alright, so to draw the Lewis structure of nitrate, um, first you gotta figure out how many valence electrons you have. Please make sure you know how to do this. Something that a lot of kids have already done, they've gotten the, the ionic charge confused with the valence number. So, you have NO3 negative 1, you gotta look and see nitrogen has five valence electrons. So it's got five. Oxygen has six valence electrons. Now, how many oxygens do you have here? Three. So you're gonna do six times three. Now, last but not least, you have a negative one charge. What does that mean? Plus one. You have to add one electron. I wrote a plus there, didn't I? Uh, that gave it away. So you end up with six times three plus five is 24. 24 electrons. So that's our total. Six times three is 18 plus five plus one, I think is 24, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. So we now keep going. You're gonna draw your skeleton structure next, okay? To do your skeleton structure, you're gonna go N in the middle. I'd like to think it's obvious that N is going to be the central atom here. Then you're gonna connect your O's. Now, how many electrons did I just put in? Six. Six, remember, each bond counts for two. Okay, so I just put in six. So we'll put it over here. So 24 minus six gives you 18. Now, to keep going with this, you have to uh, figure out what to do next. Well, you've got 18 electrons. If you look, you've got a lot of spaces on O, so you put them all in here, that's six, 12, what? Each one can hold a total of eight, but if it has a bond to it, the max it can hold is six, then six extra plus the bond. So you can put two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six. That's 18. So you are left with zero electrons. However, the structure here is not finished because nitrogen only has six electrons. Do you see why? Because it's got three bonds, that's it, it only has six. It needs to have eight. The structure is not complete till it has eight. So, here's what you can do. You can take an electron from any of the oxygens. It does not matter. We'll just, we'll just pick this one. And what it does, it's going to go right there and it's going to form a double bond. So. Is that literally how you would draw it? That's, well, no, what I would do then, you, you're going to draw a second structure now with the double bond form. I wish we could do it all fancy like that. What was your question? Um, like, if you had over 18, would you ever put any dots around the end? Yes, if let's say you had had 20, there would be two dots on the end and you'd be done. If you had had two more, okay? But sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. That's sort of how it works. Well, no, this will work with, this would be the same, same thing for whatever two elements you might, you might be dealing with. Same, same process. The structure might end up being differently, but it's the same process. So, once you get to this point, you've drawn out the structure, you've now put in all your stuff, you count, oxygen has eight, 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 nitrogen has eight, and there you go. Now, that would be an acceptable answer. Here's the thing though. Is there another answer? Well, there, there's three possible answers. This is one answer. The other answer would be to have the double bond down here. The other answer would be to have the double bond up here. It just depends. So, what you can do, and, and by the way, I'm not gonna be expecting you like on a test to, to do this. Any of the three is totally fine. But let me show you how this bond would actually form. So, you know how we have the four sides that I tell you to do always because it makes it easier? Like this, you know, you put one thing on each side. That's not how it really works. Bonds are, the bond angles can change to be whatever they need to be. So in this case, the best type of bond angle, and we're going to talk all about the geometry uh, tomorrow and on Monday, but this is how it would actually look. Let's say this. So it would form a triangle like that because that is the greatest angle of separation for each of the things. But then what would occur, this bond is going to transfer. It will not transfer. 
it's going to be in a different spot on certain molecules of it. Yeah, so all this is, this is just a different way of writing the exact same thing. But you have those other dots on top of the zeros as well. Yeah, and I, I just left the dots off to, to make it faster to draw. The dots would still be there. Now, this would theoretically be the perfect full answer because what you're doing, these are called resonance structures. Now, I just want you to hear this so if you ever encounter this term in something we're doing, you know what it is. I'm not, it's not in the test. Um, but like these are called resonance structures. Or what it means is that you have three elements, or, or pardon me, three molecules. They're basically indistinguishable from one another except you have the bond in a different spot. So one third of the time, if you were to find nitrate, it'll have the bond in this configuration. One third of the time it'll be in this configuration, and one third of the time it'll be in that configuration. Okay? What? Uh, why is there a box around the end? Because I just wanted you to see how we think of it in the four sides thing. That was just me showing you. All right.